Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Chainsaw Chronicles with Uncle Kevin and myself. This is our first video about building and framing a deck. We are the Chainsaw Carpenters because there are so many professionals. We're literally watching the Ottawa renovation dude just to get tips. Oh. Oh. oh, careful, careful, because in this video, we are going to figure it out for ourselves. We're going to frame it. This is the first time we've ever done it. We just thought it'd be super fun to have a great time, build a deck the best we can, and hopefully not make too many mistakes. So all you haters in the comments, if you want a professional video, go and check out someone else, someone else. <laughs> but if you want to have a good time, watch me and Uncle Kevin try to figure it out. Building a deck, we're going to take out the roots. We're going to take this, all this out. The fencing's getting redone. The deck's getting redone. We're building it on top of the existing stairs. So we're going to frame it from the high side here, which we'll get all this stuff out. And then we're going to uh, build it out to 14 feet. We'll have to redo the framing here a little bit. And then uh, you can see the, uh, it's sinking down in that corner there. So it's going to be some Jimmy rigging. But at the same time, it's going to be pretty fun. So we got to thank Makita. Makita has sent us their new 40 volt lineup. It's going to be awesome. We've got the new impact driver. We got the circular saws. We've got uh, the miter saw. We got a bunch of stuff. Some beauty gloves. Some beauty new gloves, They're new product. Happy. And uh, we'll talk about it in the video. So let's get to it. Oh, and belly hiding shirts. And belly hiding shirts, yeah, this new beauty. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna keep on plugging away. We're gonna clean this out. Once we get everything ripped out, then we'll start framing in the deck. And uh, we got the deck blocks. We got beautiful red cedar, two by eights, and uh, 16 to 14 feet in length. And then we're gonna go into, uh, we're gonna go into framing it, and then we will put it into, uh, uh, getting the decking on so yeah, let's go. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna set up the time-lapse here We're gonna rip this place apart. All right. Welcome to the chainsaw carpenters. Yeah <laughs> Okay, so we are dug, digging out our holes, the old rotten wood. We got Sophie helping us, thank you. Oh yeah. We're just sharpening up our Rona pencils. This Makita cuts all is awesome. No, you're not using the knife, Uncle Kevin is. And then uh, we're gonna measure out our boards to 14 feet. And as soon as we got them to 14 feet, that's gonna be the frame. So we're gonna start to frame in our deck. So we're gonna use this old existing post. We can't get it in. The people who built this deck before did it with cement and it's cemented to the house. So that's just gonna live there. And when we're done, we're gonna frame it with the one by sixes. So we'll just do like a little bit of, uh, you know, Jimmy Reagan already. We've, uh, look at this old rotten fence. It's crazy. So that's my neighbors. We're gonna deal with that another day. And right now we are just beginning the framing process. Sophie's helping us. Please film me, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is really exciting. We have the brand new 40 volt Makita 40 volt XGT ultra strong saws. So we're gonna do right now. Set it up. Look at that power. Kevin's got it all lined up, so it's gonna film over here. <laughs> now that is a nice cut. That's crazy. This saw is amazing. I've never used a battery saw like this. I've had the other one where you don't have that 40 volt. This thing just buzzed through that like crazy. 
That is pretty amazing. You can see we're using old beautiful cedar. Look at the color in this thing. Absolutely stunning. It's gonna be a very, very nice deck. So let's get to framing. Okay. Ah! We'll save all these for our braces. Make a silly face. Wow. Our, Make a silly face. Out, so? Make a silly face. We got our first official cut. Can you watch out? Come, Come over here. Uncle Kevin's coming through. Good work. There we go. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna put one here. <laughs> I don't doubled up right here because we're gonna build a frame here and then we're gonna build this all one frame and uh, try to sink it the joists uh, the joist hangers wouldn't work for those of you who are like why are you using joist hangers we don't have joist hangers because we actually have full two inch cedar it's not uh, planed it's not 1.75 so the joist hangers actually don't fit because we bought it directly from the mill where I get my wood so that's why we're doing this so now i think we've got a pretty nice thing going on once we get this part level which it looks level now we're going to dump a bunch of concrete there cement that in and then we'll brace it down here with like a couple of logs and just make it so it's so it just stays that way you know i don't think this ground's going to move anymore and that's our plan so we'll continue to do it it's starting to come together, I think. You know, we're tripling up on nails. Everything in the two by eight. So the two inch nails every, every or nail every two inches. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked on where we are right now. I think we're, I think we're rocking. So, oh, there's another stump. the only thing is I, you know, here's the best part. Chainsaw carpenters, you can see Uncle Kevin <laughs> used a chainsaw here. That's real straight. It's dull. Definitely real straight I cut. I didn't with it earlier. Yeah, <laughs> nice work. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to continue on. We'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. Hey guys, day two, I had to, uh, it's been a wild one. Let's just say I had to go to Squamish. We didn't get enough wood, so I went to Squamish. I had a ton of salvage logs, two by six, two by 10 from a, from a buddy of mine who had a fire. So I dug through the pile. We got the wood, here it is. You can see it's kind of burnt, but that's all gonna be in the framing. So what we decided to do was just tack these in Get them as best we can. We're building supports. This is probably not right, but you know what? Whatever, we don't even care. It's going to be so strong. So it's very strong. We've got cross beams here. We didn't have long enough things. So we're just building up. And right now to level it off so we can frame in the deck finally, we decided that going with these two by sixes or two by eights, 
and crossing them all together, tacking them together, we should in theory get it level to where the deck is. Then we'll tie a rope off and then we will cut our ends and hopefully it will frame up perfectly. Tune in to see what happens. So that's what happens. We're just going for it. All right, here we go. Thoughts, Uncle Kev? It's gonna look amazing. <laughs> it might be slow, but it'll be done. We're definitely not as fast as professional fr framers, that's for sure. No. This is day two, and they're, you're all, all you framers are probably like, oh, these idiots. But you know what? That's why we're the chainsaw carpenters. And if you want, you can critique us, but come chainsaw carve. And uh, you do a better job, and then I'll critique you. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dick thing to say, sorry. But at the same time, we're just doing the best we can. So here we go. Let's go, time lapse it up. It. Oh, I'm not deleting it. I'm teasing. <laughs> what am I looking for here? I don't know. Where's Let's just get it level. Now? Okay, we're measuring and leveling. Measure level, measure yeah, level. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got everything squared off. Our deck lines are square. We used a chalk line to get them squared up. Now we're gonna use the Makita 40 volt circular saw and go down and hope it works good because I'm not perfect with cutting it. I'm good with a chainsaw, but this one needs to be perfect. So we're gonna use this circular saw because this circular saw is absolutely incredible. I love it. I don't think I'm gonna let Makita take this thing back after we're done. Yeah, it's, it's, something, eh? it's something special Crazy. so uncle kevin's squaring up the deck getting everything to where we're gonna do it we're gonna use the parts that aren't gonna get wet ultra supports yeah pull that up kev all right let's go here we go the point now where we can basically put the 2 by 8 and frame it my thoughts are I hope it works if it doesn't work and say one side's off going back to carving style lag bolts lag bolts will will tighten that right up they'll bend that wood yeah oh, and yeah. then we're going over top anyway so that's what's happening will it work well, I don't know Oh, we can I hide. mean, yeah, it's going to work. We're going to hide it. It's going to work. Okay, here we go. Except for, uh, like Except for the top. I don't think you're hiding over confidence very well. So checking in day three, we've got our post level. What we did was we crossed it over to here. We kind of measured the gap between, even though it's a little bit off, but it fit right into the old cement. The problem is the old cement won't come out and we don't have the time or strength to do it. So we got a uh, post leveler, which is awesome. And then cross brace these, it's level. We use this rapid post stuff, 2.3 liters of water. So I need to add more water afterwards. Good thing I checked. There's soap. So yeah, we're doing good. We're gonna go pick up the wood, decking in. So we have decking tape, the post, the joist tape. So we're gonna lay in joist tape over all of these and then we're gonna start filling in our decking. We, get, we can't do the post here. So we are gonna have to dig a post, go seven feet, dig a new one go seven feet and then four feet at the end, which is not what we wanted to do, but the cement from whoever built this prior to went crazy. And uh, yeah, so that's what the plan is, but it's solid. We've reinforced it a thousand times, cemented in bricks, re-cemented in bricks. We had a dance party last night. Had a dance party last night. We should have filmed that, but we ran out of batteries. <laughs> so today we're gonna give her. We gotta go pick up the wood. We're gonna get our first post in. Finally, we're going to use a chainsaw. Boom! 
Okay, go grab that end, so you gotta be very careful with the tools, buddy. You got it really tight to there? Oh, uh, okay. Where are we looking at? 69. 69 and a quarter. Oh 69 my God. and a quarter. Your dad's favorite number. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! High five. Boom. High hey. five. High five. Boom. Scuba dive. Oh, high five, scuba dive. Okay. So this one's a little bit not going down good. So we're gonna build it up. It's not gonna be 10 feet right now. I'm gonna build like a box around it to give it extra, extra support. And then once we put the fence on, nothing's coming down. In comparison to the old fence, we're laughing. <laughs> All right. Hi, buddy. Putting in the deck. That was so good, dude. You're a filmer. You want to pull it? Uh huh. Lift it up straight. Perfect, buddy. Nice work. Good job. That's going to be in the video. That's a good shot, buddy. So? So I thought it was in the right place, it's not in the right place. And this post is like five inches over, four inches over. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna jimmy rig it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our one by sixes flush along here, cinch it in there, and then come behind it with another support, and the same way through, and then we're gonna redo that first fence. Woo, we never know what's gonna happen. Okay, so. Hey guys. So we are back, day four, or day five. I think this is day five, I don't know. This is the last day though. Uncle Kevin's just ripping on the flooring, as you can see. This Makita 40 volt max uh, cutoff saw has saved us so much time. The skill saw has been a lifesaver for the real tricky cuts that with the fencing. Obviously we're not like super good at this, but we're improvising and making it work, you know? We're learning how to use these tools and you know, maybe this video will help people like me and Kevin who have literally no idea how to do it. And then we just do it and we're figuring out as we go, kind of problem solving. And uh, today is the big push. The rain's coming in and right now I'm just finishing this last fence panel and then I'm gonna jump on flooring with Kev and uh, if all goes to plan, we should have enough wood uh, to do it. <laughs> that's the goal, that's the hope. So let's get back to it. I'm gonna set it up. You know, right now for me, getting this level has been the tricky part. Obviously there's a little bit of a crooked thing here and 
every board you put in without a super good plan is, you know, if it's a mistake, you gotta improvise. So that's kind of what I've had to do a bunch of times. But over there looks fantastic and here's good. And the other part, you know, no one's gonna really notice except for us. So it's good <laughs> and you guys, but it's really coming together nice. So big push today, clean it up. We got to dig in our cedars, get the yard all done. And uh, once we get these cedars planted, get the box in here, put the rest of the wood on the truck. Any leftovers we'll just, uh, you know, save and save it for another project. Cause we're the chainsaw carpenter. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. All right, see ya. Time to build the fence. So it only took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels. But I got it so it fits. Well, there's a little bit of a gap there, but whatever, it still fits. Yeah! Forgot to turn it on. Sorry about that. But now uh, it's really tricky angle, so instead of using the nail gun, I'm just gonna come from behind with screws and screw them in and then tack them from down below. It's time for a little chainsaw carpenters. Now I see it. My neighbor Bill's not gonna be happy. Boom, leveling it off. There we go, Chainsaw Carpenters is official. Yeah. There's, a, there's a couple chainsaw cuts, but there's one. <laughs> so I'm on the last board, and I couldn't get my hand through it, and I'm trying to think, what can I do? to get this thing just to get up here. Like what, what could work? Now, this could be a common trade. Could be something I, no one's, I just was like this, you know what? I'm gonna jam a screw in here. And now I've got control of it. And now I can set in, set in my final screw by holding, uh, by holding this top part up here. It's awesome. So now I got this hidden hidden screw. Now I'm gonna suck it in because it would it kept pushing out. So now I got this and it sucked it in perfect. Take that screw out afterwards, right here. Hopefully camera's got it. And now this deck is this fence. This fence is complete. The little piece here. I did that full on and then uh, left it for the end. So, great little idea. I mean, maybe it's common practice, I don't know. But for me, it just got the deck finished just by kind of thinking about it. So, you. <laughs> we are we are set. Gonna do the crosses here. Kevin's uh, ripping on the floor. And I'm gonna start on the stairs. We're gonna need therapy after this deck. We're gonna need therapy. Major. Wine therapy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Crazy, looks awesome. Oh yeah. Well, we are done. Kevin's got his beautiful fanner gear on. Oh yeah, comfies. We got it all sorted out. I'd say it's pretty close to as good as we're gonna do. Better than what we thought. Solid as a rock. Very nice cedar. The decking looks awesome. You know, we're, I'm gonna fix a couple of things. This was an addition we couldn't get that post out, so I'm gonna put a six inch there and fill it in. It's solid. We made it level. I mean, when you look at the beginning of it, it is incredible the difference and the thing about this project what i've thought about for the last little while is that it's fun to do it with your best bud and for guys who don't know what they're doing you know you just kind of follow the principles of building something that is you know structurally sound make sure it's solid and then from there you got to improvise a bit i mean obviously there's little things that we've done wrong 
This one's down a bit, that one's up a bit. But once this fills in with furniture and things, nobody's gonna know. We like, we staggered these because- But you're gonna put trim around all that. Yeah, we'll put trim around it. You can always fix it up. But the one thing I do think that I took from this a lot is that good product and the right tools makes the job easier. Ooh, yeah. That Makita cutoff uh, miter saw was incredible. The 40 volt didn't skip a beat. Everything cinched up. You look at how tight these are. Kev did everything. He did the whole floor. I did this. We got to redo the door still. Oh, I got to get out here. I forgot where the key is. Do, 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 do. We, uh, we got it all locked up so it's safe. Let me just go down here, open up. So going out, we got the trees installed, built some steps. We did six inch steps with four by fours, three by sixes, ultra secure and super nice trees. And that's it, you know, we're coming the code, we're six feet and uh, we got the trees set in, nice solid steps, big 16 inch or 18 inch. <laughs> Uncle Kevin's got the wine. So definitely, you know, a couple little tricks. Hopefully you've learned. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. Me and Uncle Kev had a good time doing it. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. best friend. Hey. Oh, yeah. What a job. It was awesome. Chainsaw Carpenters. <laughs> no fight. <laughs> yeah, super fun. And we ordered our wood right, you know. You got to really take the time. Plan. Plan as best you can and then have fun. So thanks for watching and to all the carpenters out there, sorry it's not the way you would have done it, but hopefully everybody has enjoyed it and maybe you picked up one or two tips. All right, because we learned a ton. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Look at it, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah, you can definitely be proud of this one. And maybe in the next video we'll, uh, of Chainsaw Carpenters, we'll install this big massive slab Cheers, guys. Thanks, Makita. We're stoked. We're going to uh, enjoy this deck and have some drinks. You Look at that cedar. Hey, let's dream about your outdoor kitchen. <laughs>